Hi, I wanted to show you a trap for young players. Look at this one. Um, I've got my LCR meter here. I've just got a short on there. Are uh, just two banana plugs with a you know a big copper short right across there. Soldered uh, quite nicely into the uh, holes though there. So that's not an issue. But look at this, 0.243 ohms. And if I give this a little bit, a bit, little bit of a wiggle. Geez, I could fart halfway across the room and this thing's going to change. Look at this. I can't actually, whoa, go, whoa, 0 0.7. I've actually had this at like, whoa, two ohms there. Oh, look, it just overranged. I, I think this is like uh, two ohms. I've got it manually on the two ohms range. Look at that, like an ohm. <laughs> what is going on here? Like, uh, it's just ridiculous. There we go. I was able to get it down. But it's, it's all over the shop, and I can fiddle around with it, and it's just absolutely ridiculous. And of course, there's nothing wrong with the uh, meter. If I actually uh, plug in uh, these, well, this banana plug lead here, no worries whatsoever. Look at that. And I can't jiggle those around like that. And no, it is not a problem with the uh, jacks either, because they're solid input jacks. And I actually... Um, I first found this on a multimeter. I thought, oh, it might be an issue. I tried another multimeter. It's the same thing. It's actually this shunt at fault. So <laughs> would you believe it? It's a shunt um, built specifically for the purpose for shorting out a meter just to do, uh, you know, calibration and uh, stuff like that. But it's got a real problem. Let's take a closer look at it. Now, as you can see, it's a fairly, uh, you know, it's common type of uh, banana plug. I don't know the exact uh, term for this, but sort of like these, uh, you know, free rotating, um, you know, splayed type uh, contacts. They're designed to, uh, you know, compress a little bit when they go into the banana plug to help make contact. But obviously they're a loose contact, so they're reliant not only on uh, these contacts around uh, the, so the splayed out contacts to make contact with the uh, wall inside the banana uh, jack but also then you've got uh, the contact to the solid shaft inside as well by the by way of these uh, rings at either end and I I don't ever recall having any major problems with these I, I do know that you know this is not the choice of uh, banana plug you'd use for like really high current applications you'd use the uh, direct solid type for those sorts of things but I've never had an issue like this where it is so like a high the contact resistance is so bad that it causes a problem and look you know there's nothing wrong with the solder the solder connections on there they're like solid as so there's, there's absolutely no worries there whatsoever it's got nothing to do with that it's obviously inside these and um I don't know if this will show up on camera but it does look like it's rather tarnished so I think what we've got here is maybe a combination of the particular design and fit of this particular uh, you know uh, splayed contact rotating contact here and maybe a you know a piss poor quality uh, gold plate on the thing so it's probably a combination of those two um, issues so because obviously there's nothing wrong with the uh, you know the solid uh, contact. It's got to be these rotating ones, but these are incredibly common. For example, they're used on these uh, top quality uh, probe master probes, and these are the duck scuts, and they use a similar sort of, you know, a, basically the same thing, but they maybe feel a little bit uh, tighter, something like that, but I've never had an issue with that. But look at the Maybe look at the quality difference in the gold plate there. I mean, this is not particularly old. I mean, we manufactured this like, I, I don't know, like a, oh, four months ago, four or five months ago. I mean, it's not, you know, 10 years old or anything like that. So if we have a close-up view of that, uh, you've got the uh, Probe Master 1 on the top. Doesn't the gold plate on that look like the duck's guts, right? No worries whatsoever. I've never heard of any issue with uh, something like that. But this one looks just all tarnished and corroded and whatnot it looks uh, just looks terrible and obviously you can actually you might can we see some pitting on the outside of those contacts there wow that's that's pretty that looks pretty bad doesn't it maybe it's maybe it's yeah it looks like maybe that outer ring the solid part of it inside actually looks quite 
nice and shiny, but that outer splayed bit looks really terrible. So what we're going to do is just uh, zoom into this with the Tagano microscope and have a look at it. I mean, <laughs> it just looks terrible, Muriel. Look at that. Just the tarnishing on that. As you can see, like this uh, supposed gold plating on the inside barrel looks okay, but under there, you can see that that's tarnished it just and and the outside of these flared flange things just looks terrible absolutely awful wow now let's actually compare that to the probe master look at that it really is no comparison um that Wow, yeah, not at all. And these are used, these probe masters, I've used these quite a lot. They've been plugged in and out of meters constantly. They've obviously got a real top quality hard gold plating on them. And uh, <laughs> these cheap ass ones, I can't remember where I got them from. I probably got them from eBay or, or somewhere like that. And they are truly awful. But I like, I would never have ex had expected that bad a resistance on one of these banana plugs. I've never seen it that high before. It is truly atrocious. And you can see, as you can see, like the solder joint is rock solid. It's nothing at all to do with that. And by the way, um, the Bryman uh, leads as well, which I supply with uh, my meters, they're actually not got, I, I actually cut away the uh, insulated shroud around the outside and it uses a similar sort of thing but it's almost really hard to turn those but they're like a hard nickel plating or whatever you know some sort of nickel alloy or something like that I would never had a contact issue with those a close-up look at that and how you can get such really horrible gold plated in quote marks contacts because yeah you might they might look nice and shiny when you get them but if they're not the correct type of gold plating process if they're not the correct thickness you know like a nice thick plating and everything else um then they can easily wear off or tarnish like that horrible and here's actually a brand spanking new one I still had in my drawer. So as you can see, it's not terrific. So it has fared a bit well sitting inside my drawer, but uh, it, it you can still see that it's pretty horrible. Like that is not a good gold plating. Look, it's almost like, I, like it's still like a brass or something like that. It's just atrocious. And here's a comparison with another type I've got in my drawer, and I think I got these. These are like a quality brand one. I, I think I might have got these from, you know, Farnells or somewhere, or DigiKey or uh, something like that. I can't remember exactly. Once again, they're like the nickel-plated, uh, nickel-alloy uh, type one, and as opposed to these ones. And when you zoom in, you can, you know, just see the quality of that plating. It's just... It's just not there. Sorry about the glare. I know the glare's not absolutely... Oh, look at the pitting. Look at the pitting on that. Wow, look, it's just... This is unused. This is unused straight out of my drawer. Wow. Wow. And, of course, you get nothing like that. Just, just you know, the beautiful uh, alloy plating on that. No worries whatsoever. Never had an issue with uh, these ones whatsoever i use those for making all sorts of uh, test leads and things like that but i've got these cheaper ones that <laughs> just a shocking i don't cut the mustard at all and other brands like these uh key site ones here they will also use uh the same thing once again i've cut it away and they've got the uh the rotating flange type thing and there's nothing wrong with these but if you get that poor quality plating then you're going to come a gutter uh very common to find that these aren't uh, gold plated on this end um it depends on the manufacturer some that have you know are really confident in their gold plating uh process and the hardness of it and everything else uh like 
the uh, Pro Masters, for example, not only do they give you the gold plate at uh, tips, but they also give you the gold plate on the banana jack as well. The problem with the banana jack is that uh, plug is that there's a lot of force on there when it goes into it like that. And if you don't have a really top quality, hard, thick gold plating on there um, like those, then it'll, you know, <laughs> these things are which aren't even good out of the box, then uh, it can scrape off. So that's why it might be common, like on these uh, Bryman ones, uh, for example, to have uh, the gold plated tips, but then have the uh, nickel alloy uh, plated banana jack like that, because they're going to get uh, a lot more uh, insertions and scraping over the uh, entire surface. And if you're wondering, does actually uh, rotating these inside the jack actually cause a problem? Well, let's take a look at it here. Uh, let's range that and then we can uh, null that out. There you go. So I'm going to try and not move these contacts, but as you can see, that's really quite solid. And let's move those around in there. No, no worries whatsoever. So there's nothing inherently wrong with those flanged jacks. You know, I'll pull them in, out a little bit, and like there's not like we're down to a hundred microamps. Oh, there's nothing. Oh, maybe I've slightly changed it. Geez, sorry. Like 500 microohms. Yeah, but there's really there's there's nothing in it. And I can do the same thing for the uh, Bryman probes as well. So let's uh, null that out, shall we? Oh, hello. There we go. And rotate those around. No problems whatsoever. Pull them in. Pull up. <laughs> pull them out, put them back in. Once again, it's changed by, you know, a couple of hundred micro ohms there, but no, nah, no, nah, it's all good. And by the way, don't just assume that uh, these solid ones might actually be better because let me show you, they may not be. These ones, uh, though, are very good. Look, I just uh, nulled that out uh, before I can turn those around. No worries whatsoever. And that's not g giving a problem. And let's just, uh, for kicks, take a look at these uh, Fluke probes. They're just the standard ones. What are they? The TL90 uh, or something, TL70 or something. I can't remember the exact uh, model number. But these are actually a solid uh, jack. Like, they're a solid plug. And uh, let's give these a bow. And I have to hold, I found I couldn't really get a reliable enough contact these together because they're not gold plated and they're, uh, they're just like holding them together with the pressure of my hand was not enough to actually give me a good contact. So we can actually rotate those around in there as well. And they're, they're okay too. Once a little bit of, oh, a little, little bit of variety there. A little bit of variety, but uh, yeah. So uh, I don't know. Is that worse? Are those... Um, uh, solid ones in these this particular case the uh, fluke ones actually worse than um, the other uh, rotating ones like that I don't know that'd be probably not but that'd be like an interesting uh, experiment if you're really into your uh, contacts you're a bit of a contact aficionado I don't know anyone got any research on whether or not uh, these contacts are better or worse in what, what particular application, because I'm sure they might have their uh, pros and cons. But anyway, there you go. I hope you found that interesting. Don't trust the gold platings on your connectors because some of them are just truly awful. So these ones, which I've got like a drawer full of them, they're going straight there we go, straight in the bin. Um, and I'm going to find all the leads I've made with them and uh, uh, rip them apart and uh, use the uh, better quality ones, which I've uh, actually got because they're just atrocious. So there you go, trap for young players. Just watch the uh, plating on your uh, banana jacks or other connectors and things like that. And it may not necessarily just be the flange uh, rotating type like that. I can imagine that even the solid types, if you get really piss poor gold uh, plating on them, then you could come a gutsa on those as well. So um, I'm, I'm not saying avoid these type at all. I think they're excellent and they do work very well. But in this particular case, I've uh, completely come a gutsa and just found these cheap ass ones have just like, they're no good even out of the box. You can see the pit in on the contacts. Anyway, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And, oh no, it's the other way on YouTube, isn't it? I don't know, whatever. Anyway, catch you next time.